Hi Paul, really great to meet up with you on Saturday and start doing some work on your game. We had a good long chat at the start of the session about what, uh, what I tend to look for with a golfer, especially one who's not so much starting out but has you know, not played a lot over the years and you know, really wants to improve the game the quickest um, and obviously the fastest as well. So you know, so obviously the, the quickest way to do it and to see the most progress at the same amount of time. The way to do that is to control the low point of your golf swing. So we talked about how the better players, um, whether that be a tour pro, a you know, a county champion, or even your club champion at a local golf club, the better players can always control the low point of their swing a lot better than your average golfers, your weekend golfers, etc. And the way they can do that is by having as little move off the ball as possible and by getting the weight in front of the ball at impact. That way they can always strike golf ball first, ground afterwards. And if we just take you through um, some of the stuff here. One on the left is the first one I took at the start of the day. And I just want to pull your attention here to level of the shoulders and quite a considerable spine tilt at, at setup. So straight away the weight is going backwards and it's always going to be behind the ball. So if I just do this here, you can see the golf ball is approximately here. The basket's in the way. But soon, straight away, if you start with the, the weight behind the ball, you're always going to struggle to get club, the club back to the ball properly, striking the golf ball first, ground afterwards. So if we just take this one back, I'm just going to make a little line here beside the side of your head. I'll show you why. As we start back now, you can see how the weight doesn't particularly move backwards, which is good. But if I just quickly draw your attention to your left foot here, I know it's a bit blurry, but the left heel's already come off the floor, which shows that the weight's gone to the right hand side. So it's more to do with the lower body working in this sort of direction here. If we just take that back to setup. You see here, if I just draw a little line at the side of your hip and start your backswing, you can see there how much the hips have swayed away from the target in your backswing. And that was quite a concern uh, because what's going to happen here if we just start these down, the weight's already back. You've got to really try hard then to try and get it back onto your left side and you can see here at impact the weight's massively behind the ball there so that this is roughly the low point of your goal so a good four inches behind the goal ball. so that's going to come out a lot of fat shots a lot of thin shots and one that you do quite regularly as well which was to flip the hands over and hit a pull hook so left starting left and curving further to the left that can be quite common with your weight back the hands tend to get a little bit more active you can see here the right hand getting on top of the left club face shutting very early always hitting that big last shot if I just take this one here which is Grant, Grant weight a really really good goal so just note the differences in the setup you can see the shoulders are a lot more level never going to be perfectly level because your right, your right hand is lower then you're left on the golf ball, which is going to tilt you ever so slightly. You can see here we've got the upper centre and the lower centre on top of each other. So you've got uh, the sternum is your upper centre, and then the midpoint between your two hips um, is your lower centre. You can see they're pretty much one on top of each other. You can see here that you've got quite a considerable difference between one and the other. Now, as Grant starts back, the weight stays over the golf ball. See there, yours is over to the right hand side. You can see the foot's planted here, and yours obviously coming off the floor. So they were the main points to go through during the session. Uh, this one's a little bit later on. Um, just note the setup. 
right shoulder and left shoulder considerably more level than they were. See there, a massive difference here. And also, one centre is much more on top of the other. A very, you know, a very small difference, but not enough to cause you any real trouble. Now we're only sort of hitting some half shots here, but you can see there. Left foot's much more planted. Uh, with the left foot more securely on the floor, that makes it a lot easier for you to start, like I said, obviously keeping the weight over the top of the ball. And then, if you just watch Grant here, you see how he starts to move towards the target with the lower body, allowing him to really strike down into the ground, getting the golf ball first. Just have a look at this one here now, later on in the session, like I said, just keeping your weight a bit more left. The weight's coming back slightly. You can see a point of impact. Just get rid of these lines here. Take the upper centre here. There's nowhere near as far behind the ball. much better position here. Now obviously we've still got a little, well a lot of uh, hand movement through the golf ball here. We will work on that in later sessions. You see there the right hand just taking over very very quickly, closing the club face and promoting that big last shot. Like I said we'll work on that in the coming sessions. In the meantime you can always just practice almost just trying to hold it and trying to hit a big push as you're going on, as you're going through the ball, trying to hold the face open should start giving you a feel for not using the hands as much through impact. So quickly, just to recap, recap, sorry, weight slightly more into your left hand side, and then trying to level out the the, sh the shoulder level as much as possible. Gets rid of that right tilt. That setup makes it a bit easier to stay centered over the ball. Keeping the weight left as you go back, as you swing back, and then trying to strike down in front of the golf ball. And that should help me quite a lot between now and the next time I see you. Best of luck with it, Paul. I'll be in touch soon.